think it's a great opportunity. Um, just, I mean, we're excited to play whoever. I mean, we don't know exactly who we're going to play yet. I mean, Mississippi State and Pitt have to battle it out, but we'll be ready for, I mean, for whoever whoever wins that game. Yeah, I, I would just say the same thing. Um, super excited, um, extremely blessed, highly favored um, that we get this opportunity to represent um, this university and um, the best tournament in the world, in my opinion, especially in, during March. So, Gabe, go back a couple of years. What was TJ's selling point to you? Uh, selling point was just um, really just like buying into this university, really just knowing that with the group of guys that he was investing in, recruiting in, that we could do something special here. And with the principles and, you know, the values that he instilled us, us um, when, st when summer started, um, I knew that that was um, only the way that winning teams could, could prepare for being in a position like this in March. So I think, like, that was just a selling point. And, I mean, we made it. I mean, I made it back to back-to-back -to -back, um, NCAA tournaments. And I'm blessed and honored to, with these, with these group of guys that we have right now, to do something special in this tournament. Before you decided to come here and when you talked to TJ, what did you tell him you wanted out of Iowa State? A winning culture, a winning culture that comes and, and you know, just makes it to, to this dance um, on a regular occasion. And um, we've done that. Um, and so I think that, I mean, he sold it. He sold it great. And I mean, it's, but it's the work that we put in in the off season. And it's who we are as um, individuals. And, you know, we got the right, the, the right group of guys that just put in that work and, you know, it, it, it works out for us. Is it all disappointing to not know or have to wait to know who you're going to play on Friday? I wouldn't say disappointing. I think it's a little, it's, it's different. I mean, I haven't had that before, um, that unknown of who you're going to play. But I think it definitely gives us um, a feel. We get to watch um, both teams um, whenever they play, I think Thursday. Um, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see um, how they play, um, what, what their tendencies are. So having that, um, having that know of what their, what their tendencies are, I think that kind of gives us a little um, edge and advantage of um, being prepared for them on Friday. Jan, what's it mean for you to go back to the NCAA <laughs> tournament? Uh, it's a great honor. Um, I've done it with two universities now. Um, it's exciting overall. Um, think about it. I was a nine seed um, during the COVID year, and I'm a six seed, so moving on up, I can say. Um, but I'm super excited. Uh, and um, I mean, you dream about these type of moments. You dream about being that team that um, everybody's looking at and hoping to see what seat they get. Um, I mean, I was just upstairs, just like on pins and needles, trying to s hurry up and, you know, figure out who we were going to play or uh, what seat we were going to get. Um, but yeah, I'm blessed to just be in this tournament and I'm blessed to play with these guys every day. And, you know, I'm just going in here excited to make uh, new memories with my teammates. Thank you. Thank you.